Today's video, we're looking at the Afghanistan Operation Enduring Freedom Kukri. This is by X Gurkha Kukri House. It's a very thick blade, about 11 inches. This one has been sharpened. Take a look at some specs on this one, up close looks, and then we'll do some cut testing. Let's get to it. 16 and 3 eighths of an inch in overall length. There's no pommel. The tang is exposed with a lanyard, so a little cord on there as well. Blade length itself is gonna be 11 inches. This is a kukri, so it is a forward curved blade. You're gonna see this dent in the back of it for this forward curve. This is clearly more of a hacking and a slashing type of tool, and also could be used in a pinch as well. Weighing in at two pounds, 0.9 ounces. This is a single piece of steel that tapers slightly down toward the very end of it. There's obviously no pommel because that's the exposed tang with a hole in it, with a wrist wrap if you needed to uh, get a little bit extra retention on that one. This one does come sharp. It is functionally sharp, and I believe the edge has been touched up by our sharpening guy. So thank them in the comments below for doing some touch-up work on these blades so we can get cut testing to you. Point of balance is gonna weigh in at two and a half inches from the guard. So there is your point of balance. We're looking at a pretty thick tang on this one. So this is gonna be more of a hacking type of tool, which kukaris are multi-purpose. They're not just, you know, they're not just for a self-defense type of situation. This is intended to also be a tool for different types of hacking situations for utility. Finally, grip length, four and 13 sixteenths. Got three pins running on each side, sandwiching the hardwood handle together. One, of course, comes with a scabbard. This is a buffalo hide scabbard. We have three brass pins, not pins, the tacks on the back of this. Pretty large belt loop, so you can carry this um, with literally any type of belt. I mean, I can literally shove my hand through here. So you got that. We've got a leather strap on there, buffalo hide for the scabbard. You're gonna see it says X Gurkha Kukri House stamped into here. I will get some up close looks. How's the draw? Draw is pretty decent. Uh, we have a snap as well running on here just to keep it in place. You've, drawing it out is fine, but because this is organic material and the blade is forward curved, you're gonna get a little bit of a pull when you bring it back in. What I do like about the handle as well is the way they carved out the forefinger is that's done really well so it is nice and secure sliding it back in running the spine of the blade runs in just fine we've got the traditional sharpener so this one is not sharp at all it is a more of a thicker sharpening tool and then you have a small utility knife which does have an edge on it and it also has a thicker spine to it as well so very durable set here i really like the colors on it um the handle is really awesome as well. So for a kukri, for this kind of price point item, not a bad thing to pick up. From here, take a look at some up close looks of this kukri in the scabbard, not the scabbard. And then we'll take a look at some cut testing. Let's get to it. Taking a look at this one up close, hardwood handle, buffalo hide. This is the stamp that I was talking about on it. So genuine kukri knives, Axigurka kukri house with the kukri logo stamped. Get a back view of the tacks on this one. There's the leather strap that's attached to the buffalo hide scabbard. It's stitched on the back. Here's everything out of the scabbard. So we have the small utility knife. This one is sharpened. This one is sharpened. This is your utility tool. So your sharpener is not sharp. There's a look at the blade profile. I really like what they've done with the blade profile here. Flip this guy over. There's the lanyard hole with the extended tang. And I also wanna show you how this changes. So this gets, it's a thick tang on this thing. And when it runs down, it starts to taper down about toward the second pin starts to taper down to a little bit more narrow and then right into the lanyard hole. Thanks for joining me for this video on the Afghanistan Operation Enduring Freedom X Gurkha Kukri House Kukri, very long name. 
but saw some cuts on this one. We saw the factory edge on this was pretty, pretty awesome. Soaked the tatami mats for two days to make sure they're fully soaked through. Something that's very important to make sure they're not dry when you are doing cut testing with these. Very fine edge. I like the blade profile as well, and the grip is awesome. If you want to see more kukris on the channel, let us know in the comments below. As always, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.